Good morning, winter growth friends. You know, I'm always amazed by the incredible wildlife I see in Columbia's parks. Sometimes I manage to get my phone out in time to take a quick photo or video, and sometimes, well, not so much. Luckily, my friend Mary has agreed to share some of her photos with us. I hope you enjoy this sampling of Columbia wildlife. Thanks to Mary, myself, and the addition of a couple of photos by my camera shy friend, Eileen. The first goslings of spring usually appear in May. This one was headed straight toward me when its mother quickly intervened and gave me a nasty hiss. Goslings grow quickly, which improves their chances of survival as they grow and become less vulnerable to predators. Some of Columbia's geese migrate further south for the winter and some stay here year round. There are fewer ducks in Columbia's park than there are geese, partially due to the prevalence of predators and the small size and slower development of the ducklings compared to the geese. Usually born in June, ducklings are very susceptible to foxes, raccoons, and turtles. I saw this huge snapping turtle several years ago. His shell was easily three feet across, and yes, I kept my distance. This is a different type of snapping turtle. There are many kinds of turtles in Colombia, including this Eastern mud turtle, and this red-eared slider. Like me, turtles enjoy the warm sunshine and they can often be seen sunbathing in the late spring, summer, and early fall. Turtles lay their eggs in the spring a few years ago, I was fortunate en uh, enough to be able to watch this turtle lay her eggs and carefully cover them over. Columbia's lakes are also home to many great blue herons. I often see this same heron in the exact same space at Lake Kinnamakundi. I also often see herons fishing by this small dam.
Many types of birds visit Columbia seasonally, including ospreys like this one, bald eagles, and this past spring, a pair of trumpeter swans spent several weeks at Wild Lake. There are beavers both at Lake Kinemakundi and Lake Alcorn. The beaver lodge at Lake Kinemakundi is well hidden. However, the one at Lake Alcorn is easily visible from the path. Mary and I were walking together one morning when we were treated to this amazing view. Beavers actually build a sleeping chamber underneath of what you can see here, the top of the lodge. So they have an area to sleep, which is not underwater, which is covered and only accessible by underwater entry. Although the beavers are a great part of the ecosystem, they can do quite a bit of damage to the trees. So the Columbia Association has protected some of the trees with wire mesh. Columbia's deer are not shy but they are pretty and plentiful. On the smaller side of wildlife, I'm usually not a fan of rodents, but this little mouse was really pretty cute. As was this toad that Mary found hiding in the bushes. There are also a great number and variety of insects, including this praying mantis, ladybug, yellow swallowtail butterfly, and this gorgeous black swallowtail butterfly that Mary saw one day. This katydid can easily camouflage itself among the leaves. Now, although there are no spiders actually in these photos, their webs are beautiful feats of engineering. I hope you've enjoyed this small tip of the iceberg visit with some of Columbia's wildlife. Thanks to Mary, Eileen for their additions. Well, and before I sign off, I would be remiss if I didn't include Blue, the sometimes wild animal who lives in my house. And yes, she almost always has a toy in her mouth. As always, I thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day.